Hey guys, it's Nadine Aurelia. Welcome back. Today's video is all about Notion and I'm going to give you 5 simple beginner tips to make your own Notion template. This video is not gonna be long because I personally hate long tutorial videos, so I'll make it simple for you guys. If you're new to Notion or you just downloaded Notion and you don't have any idea on how to use it, you're in the right video. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You see this empty space here? You can personalize your own page, you can put your name or whatever you want. For example like this, you can add an icon, you can use emoji or you can upload an image or you can just paste the link of an image and you can add cover. Notion actually have some options here but you usually want to put your own picture or you can just simply paste link of an image. We need to wait until it's a hundred percent and you can reposition it by dragging it. There's these three dots here. You can choose your favorite font. For example, this font. And I suggest you to full width the page. You can type slash or you can just simply press the plus button here. To see some options from Notion, you simply add headings to it, like you can type dashboard, and mostly people will color it, color the block. I choose brown, and you can also color an empty block. I know this doesn't really look good, it's just an example for you guys. Under the dashboard, you usually want to put a linked, linked pages. For example, school, you can add page from here. School, and back to your page, you can drag the school under the dashboard. And you can click the school. You can put table, board, list, calendar, gallery, timeline, whatever you want. For example, you can type slash and you can have maybe some to-do list. Maybe you have some homeworks to do. Exam list. Or you can simply add board to see your work you can title it yourself and you can see this not started and progress completed and the last thing you want to know is to put picture here in your page you can just simply drag pictures from your folder You can resize the photo, you can put it wherever you want, and you see this blue line, if you actually put it on this blue line, it will be put under the dashboard, or you want to put it under the school, and you might want to put it beside this with all the blocks covering it, so you want to put it in this blue line in the right corner of the dashboard. And here you are. You can put more pictures to it. Put it beside the photo like this.
And this is my own page. It's my wallpaper and my photo, my selfie, my name and my quote. And I put some pictures here to make it look good. And two blocks of the most important thing, like university and work. I can have my own class schedule here. You can also duplicate my template in the description box below. Thank you for watching, see you in the other videos!